Everyone knows that the first thing looked for after an airplane crash isn't your lost luggage. It's a data recorder better known as a black box. But did you know that your car might already have a black box in it, recording its instruments readings before, during, and after a crash, and possibly other times as well? An early version was invented in 1939 by French flight engineers Francois Cousinat and Paul Boudouin. It used a scroll of photographic film to record continuous visual images of a plane's instruments. In 1942, Finnish aviation engineer Veo Heitala developed the first modern black box for electronically recording a plane's instrument readings. Australian engineer David Warren improved it in 1953 by adding the capability to record voices in the cockpit. In 1956, black boxes began to be installed in commercial airplanes. Although an early model was called the Red Egg, they were painted bright orange or yellow so they'd be easy to find. Red, orange, yellow? Sounds more like a jack-in-the-box. One explanation for the name is that a reporter referred to an early model as a wonderful black box. Another is that they were painted black during World War II to keep them from reflecting light and being spotted by the enemy. Regardless of the color, black boxes are not just in planes anymore. They've invaded our cars. Most people are surprised to find out that automobiles have had their own version of black boxes since the mid-1990s. Today, 96% of all new vehicles have them, and they're installed in an estimated 150 million older ones. They were originally part of the Restraint System Control Module, which senses accident conditions and determines which airbags and seatbelt tensioners to deploy. Installation of these devices was voluntary, and the design varied from one automaker to another. Up until 2013, manufacturers didn't have to tell you if your car had a black box or where it was located. Most can be accessed by connecting to the diagnostic link connector usually found under the vehicle's dashboard near the driver's knees. However, the software was proprietary and the use of third-party readers was often prohibited. Not only that, but the black box contents legally belong to the car's maker, not the owner. The National Highway and Transportation Safety Administration is proposing mandatory installation of event data recorders in all new cars beginning in September 2014. They must record specific information during a collision such as vehicle speed, throttle position, brake application, engine speed, and velocity change. No matter what is recorded, the data will still not be yours. Some states restrict what insurance companies can do with the information and require police to obtain a warrant before accessing it. Only 13 states have laws regulating these black boxes, and the privacy protection is weak. The NHTSA won't discuss its security plans, but it's expected that the issue will eventually end up in Congress. An organization that can relate to airbags. Proponents of black boxes argue that they're not intrusive. That's what they used to say about GPS and cell phones, and now your location is known to everyone who's trying to sell you something. Some insurance companies have their own device recorders and offer incentives to drivers who let their driving habits be tracked. Black boxes are here to stay, so we need some strong, well-defined regulations. From New York City, I'm Kegan, and this is Rockaboom.